Hi, my name is Kara. I'm with Missouri Assistive Technology. Today, I just wanted to make a video about the TouchChat app. The TouchChat app has a lot of features in it, um, which can be great for addressing a variety of needs, but it can also be a little bit overwhelming. So I just wanted to go through kind of just some of the basics with TouchChat. So hopefully this video is helpful with that. Okay, so first I'm going to click on the touch chat app. So right now I am just in the the basic four four button vocab set. So the great thing about touch chat is that it has a ton of different vocab sets. So up here right above the I want button, you can see the um, the word vocab in orange in the top left. So I'm going to click on that and then it gives me the option choose new vocab. So whenever I click on that, it has a ton of different vocab sets in here. Um, four is the lowest number of buttons that it has. And then it goes, even when you click on these, there's some other options in there. Um, Word Power has a ton. I think the most, like the highest number of buttons um, is the 140 vocab sets. Um, there's some in Spanish. Um, looks like French as well. Um, so there's a ton of different ones. And then as you can see next to the title, there is um, like a little lock and there's some locks that are green and some locks that are yellow. So yellow means that it's locked. That is the, um, the original vocab page that TouchChat made. So you can still go in and use them. I'll click on a yellow one. Um, you can still go in and use this, Eat. but um, you just can't edit it. So you can't change any of the buttons. You can't customize it to your student. Um, the green ones are all the ones that I have copied, and um, then I can go in and edit. So before you can go in and edit any of the vocab pages, you need to make a copy of it. So in the top right corner where it says menu, you're gonna click on that. And there's a few different options in here. Um, you're gonna to wanna to click on copy a vocab. So then you can go in and you can see all the different titles of the different vocabs that I have in here. Um, so I'm just gonna make a copy of the Multichat 15 SS. That just means symbol sticks. It's one of the um, sets of pictures that they have. And I'm just gonna retitle it. Mm. 15 example and then I'm going to save it so then you can see that pop up right here in green so that means I can go in and edit it now so I'm going to click on that so this is the 15 button vocab set so they have a lot of different options in here um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to edit some of the different buttons so I'm just going to go in in the top right corner of all of these, or most of these buttons, you can see a little arrow. That means that when you click on it, it's gonna take you to another page. And you can switch that. You don't have to go to another page. Um, this one is just, you know, preset like that. So I'm gonna go into actions. And see, these buttons don't have the arrow. So that means that whenever I click on Drink. it, it's just gonna say that one word. So, if I wanna edit some of these buttons, if I wanted to change the picture or change the word, um, maybe I think that you know some of these words aren't really beneficial, um, I can go through and I'm gonna click on menu again. And there's a few different options in here. Right now I'm just gonna focus on the edit page. So you can see like the red up top, that means I'm in the edit mode. So then you can click on any button to edit it. So right now I'm, I'm gonna click on drink and then I'm gonna edit this button. So a few things to notice about with touch chat, up here it says the button label. That is whatever you want it to, to say on the actual physical button. Um, so, and you can have the button label and the button message say different things. You can have the label just say drink, and then you can have the button message say, I want a drink. 
So I'm just going to save this just to show you. So it still says drink. I want a drink. But now whenever I press it, it says the full sentence. So some people like to do it that way. Um, that's, that's an option. And then you can see, too, whenever you click that button, the full button message comes up in the bar. Um, they're pretty good about pronunciation, but if there is something um, that's that, you know, sounds a little different than what it's spelled like, um, you can you can do an alternate uh, pronunciation. So then you can go through here and you can select the picture. So TouchChat has a ton of pictures already in their library. So you can go through and whatever you put in the button message um, or in the button label, that will automatically come up. You can scroll through. They have a ton, ton of different things in here. Um, so I'm going to change this picture. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just choose a different picture. You can, um, if you've taken your own picture on the, on your own iPad, you can go through and you can click image library and you can pick a different photo if you'd like. You can also, um, most of the ones that have um, like an actual, um, like a stick figure in them, you can change the skin tone in that too um, to customize it more to, to your student, which is nice. Um, some of these other ones, if you want the label on the top, um, so that's clearly on, so the label's on top, you can take that off. Um, you can do bold text. There's a few different, you know, customization options in here. You can change the actual button color here. Um, if you want something that will, like down here, um, you can see the more actions that's in a bright green. Um, so if you want something, if you want to draw attention to something, you can change the color, you can change the border. There are several different options there. Um, and then another area that I'm going to focus on here too um, is the button actions down here. So uh, just about every single button that I have on here is um, has the action speech message. That means that whenever you click on the button, it's going to speak the message. So sometimes you might not want that to be the case, like whenever you click, you know, on more actions down here, you might not want it to say more actions. You might just want it to have the capability to take you to the next page without saying more actions. Um, but most buttons on here are, we do want them to speak. So some of the other ones, there, there's a lot of different um, capabilities in here. So I'm just going to go through, um, a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, like if you want to add the date and time, you know, obviously you click that button. Um, so I'm going to show you the ones that I use the most. Um, clear display, that means that whenever, um, like this button to the right over here, that right above the home button that says clear. So instead of having to go through, um, you know, and... Call. If I have Come, all of these, instead of cook, having to click the give, backspace and do one go. at a time, you can just click clear and it's going to wipe out that whole message for I you. I want a drink. I'm going to go back. So I always like to have that option, um, you know, just because it makes it quicker and easier um, for a student who's trying to navigate on their own. Um, a few other ones that I use quite a bit... Um, I use a lot of these navigate buttons. So like the home button, you're going to have navigate to home. So then, you know, sometimes you kind of get a page within a page and it's nice just to have that home button. So instead of having to go back and back, you can just click the home button and you're right back to where you started. Now, some of these other buttons have a navigate to page. So if I click navigate, if I wanted, okay, whenever I click on drink, I, I want that button to navigate to drinks. 
Okay, so now you see the arrow in the top right. So whenever I click I drink, want a drink. I have the list of drinks that that I can choose from. So it's kind of nice to maybe, you know, put some of those together so it it makes sense and it's quicker and easier to navigate. And I'm going to go back to show you a few more. So now you can see not only does it have the speech message, but it has the navigate and it tells me what page it's going to navigate to. Um, a lot of these other ones, um, I don't use really a whole lot. Um, I use, like I said, I use the navigate ones most. Um, navigate back, that just means it's going to go back a page. Um, the, the back button is up here in the top left in the orange um, and it's just kind of small so it's it's kind of nice um, I want a drink to have you know a, a button dedicated like this one right here um, dedicated to go back okay and I'm gonna go back to all of this um, I mean I, I recommend playing around with a lot of this stuff. Um, but there, there is a lot in here. So, you know, you, you can play around and see, see what you like, but those are the, the main ones that I use. Um, you know, there, obviously there's a lot of different capabilities in here. Um, but those, those are the most popular ones that I use. Um, this visit down here, that's if like, if, if I click visit, it's it's going to navigate you to a page like the navigate button, but then it's once you hit a button in there, it's going to take you right back. So um, I'm just going to, I'm going to delete this navigate just so I can show you. Um, and then rather than navigating to the page, I'm just going to visit the page. So then whenever I hit I want drink, a drink and I hit apple juice, apple juice it's going to, take me right back to the previous page that I was on. So it just visits it, visits it for a, a second until you hit a button and then it's going to take you right back. Um, a few other things that, um, that I like about, about touch chat, you, you can edit, you know, right now I'm in the 15 button vocab set, but you can edit it to have more buttons on the page to have less buttons on the page. Um, I mean, it's just kind of nice, all the different options that you can have. So I'm just going to go in and show you. Um, so edit page, which is where I was to edit the buttons. Um, and then I'm going to click the menu. And there's several different options in here. Um, but I'm going to focus right now on edit page layout. Okay, so right now there are three rows and there's five columns. If you decide, whoa, like that, that's too much for my student or my student can handle more, um, you can go in and change that. So maybe I want five rows and five columns. So now there's more button options. Or you can decide, mm, no, I'm going to go with three rows and three columns. Um, now, and it, it does give you an alert. Because I'm going down to that lower size, it's going to delete um, some buttons that are, you know, in the excess area. So right now I'm just going to say, okay, fine. So now I have less options there. So just because you are in this 15 button um, vocab set does not mean that every single page, oops, um, every single page needs to have 15 buttons. Um, so that's just kind of another option to have. The last thing that I wanted to show you um, is importing a different vocab page. So maybe I want to go, um, I'm just going to go to this. I'm going to do the four test um, since that's already unlocked and I can edit it. Um, and then I'm going to go into um, categories. I'm going to go to places. Okay. So I have like three places in here. Um, I can click the arrow. There's a couple more places. Um, maybe I want some more options in there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the page again. 
And then I'm before I do anything, I need to imp, import or copy a page. So I'm going to import another page. And you can go in and you can select another page from another vocab set. So I'm going to select um, one of the multi-chat 15 pages. So I click on that. Here's all the different pages that they have in there. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find a places. Um, I'll just pick places community. And I'm going to click import. Okay, so it's imported now. I got to decide, okay, what do I want to do with that? Well, I want to make it to where whenever I hit this button places, it's going to take me to that page. So I'm going to edit this button. Right now it navigates to the places. You see how these all have four. These are the place these are the pages for the vo for vocab set. Well, I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the one I just copied or the one I just imported. So that was places community. So I'm going to click that. That's where I want this button to navigate to. So I've saved it. I'm going to click done. So now whenever I hit places, that's going to navigate me to the page that was in the 15, um, the multi-chat 15 vocab set. So if you wanted some more options, you know, just for one of those buttons, or if you like a certain vocab set, but you really like a page from a different one, you can kind of customize it that way. Now, all the button actions don't carry over. Um, like go, go back will and the home button and things like that. But restaurants down here, um, whenever I click that, it should take me to another page. All of these ones down here with the arrow should navigate me to another page um, in the multi-chat 15. But since I haven't imported, you know, the restaurants, the fun places and the home places pages, it's not going to navigate in this one. Um, so you can go in and you can change those buttons. You can delete them. Um, sorry, that's my dog. Um, so that's, that's another option. So touch chat has quite a variety of things to do. Um, at, at first I would, you know, I would just keep it simple. Um, just kind of play around with it, you know, maybe take it home for a weekend and just see the different capabilities that it has. Um, but it does have a lot of great capabilities, um, which is nice for, you know, all the different needs that your students may have. Um, so hopefully that video was helpful and, um, yeah, good, good luck with, um, navigating touch chat.